Hey, what's up guys? Michael here with Primal Edge. I'm currently working on a real nice tool restoration, but I'm not quite done. And since you folks tend to prefer when I don't split my videos up into multiple parts, I'm going to keep on working until this project's done and upload one concise video of the entire job. So for this week's video, I've got a quick tip, and we're going to see if I can't keep it under two minutes for you. Let's throw out two minutes on the clock and get to it. This week's tip, sanding sticks. A very simple, very quick to make item that will be indispensable in your toolkit. Now here's what I've done so far today, but I'll be doing an entire set from 220 grit all the way to 1500. As you can see, I use a Sharpie to indicate the grits on the stick. These sanding sticks are made using two materials, some with PVC sheets, which can be purchased for cheap online or at your local sign shop, and others using foam core board, the same stuff used for school projects. You can get those at usually Walmart, Target, and even many grocery stores. I'd stay clear of the ones you get at the dollar store. While they are inexpensive, they don't really work too well in this application. The paper tends to peel off way too easy, which is by design. However, I like to use the paper to help the adhesive do its job. Both materials can be cut perfectly with a razor knife, which allows you to make all shapes and sizes. I tend to use strips as well as squares, and those two shapes cover almost all my fine detail sanding needs. Making them is super easy, barely an inconvenience. Once you have your shapes cut out, hit them with a bit of 3M adhesive, let them tack up, slap on your favorite sandpaper, wet or dry is my preference, and then finally cut it to fit. Remember, it's a sanding stick, not a picture frame for a priceless Monet. You don't have to get too fancy with it. Now, if you can't locate PVC sheets in your area, you can, as an alternative, use quarter-inch hardboard. Either will work just fine. I tend to use the coarser grits with the stiffer material, like the hardboard or PVC. And the finer grits, I reserve that for the foam board. But you may want to mix and match, depending on your specific needs. That's one thing about this tip. It is completely customizable to your own needs. Sometimes you need that rigid backing hardboard. Other times you want something that's a bit more flexible and lets you get into those unique curves that you sometimes run across. And folks, I can't stress how much these sticks get plenty of use in my shop. They are great for all types of jobs, including sharpening my knives, which you can see more about in this video I'll link here. So that's it. Guys, did we make it? How close were we? Cutting it close, I'm sure. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in this week. I hope you liked the quick tip. If you have any sanding tips you'd like to share, leave them down in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And don't forget, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. You all have a great day, and I'll see you soon.